Hey, East Texas. Rolando here at Ross Motorsports in Lufkin, Texas. So today we're going to take a closer look at the native watercraft Slayer 10 propel truck. Uh, now this boat has been around for quite some time. This is one of their more compact boats. Uh, on the front of this boat you've got a very unique handle. This is actually one of the few horizontal handles that Native has to offer. You've got a traditional bow uh, kill guard, a kill coming up. Uh, it's got a normal handling feature for when you're out in those waters. Now this boat is great for ponds or smaller lakes. Uh, so if you're looking and doing that's your primary mode of fishing, this is the perfect boat for you. Uh, up front, you've got a lot of storage here, so you can carry a smaller tent, you can carry your tackle, your life jackets, first aid kits, all of the necessities that you have to have to be out on the water. Uh, you still have some through hole storage on this boat, so that's a great feature. You've got this model is powered by the 701 drive, just like all of them are. You've got the upgraded bicycle pedals, you've got the spots to put the cleats in there for a little bit extra traction if you got shoes on. I, I personally fish barefoot, so you'll always see my kayak without the cleats in. Uh, you've got the 701 integrated weed guard system in here. It's not going to prevent you 100% from getting uh, tangled up, but it is going to allow you to get through the brush a little bit easier to fish a whole lot longer and, and less time working with your drive. Again, as always, when you slot open your lid, you drop down your drive unit, and you've got to have about 18 to 16 inches of water to get this drive unit now. Now, this model here, the 701 drive has got a free forward and a free reverse. There's very little hesitation, very little cavitation happening at the proper powerhouse of this boat. Uh, you've got your traditional hand-woven seat that is all sewn together by those lovely folks over in North Carolina, Fletcher, North Carolina. Uh, Native does a fantastic job. The seats are always adjusting. You can slide it forward or back depending on how tall or how short you are. I'm a short fellow, so I've got to have my seat a little bit further forward so I can reach those pedals. My legs aren't that long. At the back of the boat here, you've got another horizontal handle that makes it just that much easier to carry. You've got your rudder that is always protected by a uh, skag here in the back. You've got nice flexibility. Again, we can upgrade these to a boondocks rudder to give you that much more structure. In the back compartment here, you've got two scupper plugs. If you happen to get any water back here, uh, you can carry your cooler, your tackle box, and, and it's just a great little feature to have. You've got two vertical angled rod holders here in the back with a little bit of storage just for your trash. Makes it easy to reach from the seat. This little bin is removable, so it gives you some hole access if you're running any lines or any wiring like that. Uh, underneath the seat, there's no storage box for the Slayer 10, but you can fit all of your plyo boxes underneath here. You can have some storage to get things just instant access. On the left-hand side of this boat, you've got your steering control here. Now, unlike the Slayer 10, which we're gonna do a comparison video here in a little bit, the electronics features, where you have to put a few holes in the boat, unfortunately. Um, but we're gonna to get to more on that later. If you have any questions on this model or any of the other models that we carry with Native Watercraft, Give me a call at 936-634-6873, or you can reach me on my email at Ross Motorsports, the number one at Outlook.com. We'll see you guys out on the water soon.